I want to demonstrate how to use the align feature quickly. A version of it hides down here in the encoder bar. There is a key for it on your console and there is a widget that can be added to the views that has some different options. Any parameter can be adjusted with the align feature. I'm just going to give you a demonstration of how the modes work. I'll call this mode linear. It's very effective for distributing values across a range. I'm going to demonstrate with the pan attribute. If I add all my lights to a selection, apply the pan mode, then move the pan encoder to spread the values across the selection, I get a fan out position. If I turn the encoder the other way, I compress them and I get a pin cushion. The second mode increases the value from the first fixture in the selection order. Same fixture selection. I'll select the new align mode. I'll start by pressing in the saturated area of the cold picker. Then as I drag my finger down into the unsaturated area, the values are spread across the selection, leaving me with this nice gradient. The third mode increases the values from the last fixture in the selection order. If I repeat the exact same steps again with the third function of align, the gradient has just changed direction. This time adding saturation to the selection by pinning it to the last light in the selection order. The next mode spreads the values across the selection order from center out. This is a cool one for spreading color across a selection. When this mode is applied, I drag the color for the selection from one side of the color picker to the other. Now I have a mirrored rainbow. The last mode is just the reverse of what we just saw. It spreads the values from the first and last fixture towards the center of the selection. There is another way you can align values across an attribute, and it's a pro tip for making great position presets. Use the calculator to get perfect spacing between each fixture every single time. With a selection order in the programmer, then swapping my readout to natural, I'm using the pan attribute. I'll open the calculator and I can enter a value like this to apply that attribute across a range. Try it out, it is a time saver.